Hey what's going on everyone this is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing iPhone hidden features and tricks that you probably never knew existed. Now most of these are exclusive to iOS 14 devices even though some of them might work on older iOS versions as well. Now before I get started I just want to ask you guys for a favor the trick to making this video more popular is of course the like button. So make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and let's get started. All right, we're starting off with the most popular feature of iOS 14, and that of course is back tap. So if we go to back tap, you can see that you have two different actions, but we have a twist here. So of course the name says it all. You double tap on the back of the phone or triple tap to perform an action. But anytime you have your iPhone in one hand and you cannot readjust the grip to tap on the back of the phone, you can do that on the side here. So you can see how it works. You double tap or triple tap and you will be able to actually perform that action simply by tapping with your finger right here on the side which is really really cool and that just leads us to the next trick using spotlight search within apps you know on ios there is no other way to do that but there is the way of course using back tap and you can see right here i have set it up you go to double tap or triple tap and choose spotlight and you will be able to actually use spotlight search whenever you need it even though you're on an app now normally you would have to go out of the app and go to your home screen and then go to the spotlight search but with back tap enabled all you gotta do is just double tap or triple tap whichever one you choose and you will have spotlight search within any app on the settings app of your iphone on ios 14 you will have the password section where you go there you will have all of your websites and passwords that you have saved so here i have one that i've just set up as an example for this video and basically i want to show you here how apple pays very close attention to privacy and details of course now taking a screenshot of this i want to send it to someone you can see what it does automatically it will hide the password shown on the screen so you can see right here here we have actually the password just by taking a screenshot you can see now it's gone Another really cool thing that iOS does automatically and you might have done that but didn't even notice is that if you're recording the screen of your iPhone you will have here another security feature and it where on iOS where you go and you have to enter a passcode in this case right here we're entering the face ID and passcode section I will have to enter a passcode here and I'm recording the screen of my iPhone so let me just enter this passcode once you have entered the passcode, you will see that iOS will actually hide that as well. So here we have the recording. By the way, you can just swipe on the recording notification if you want to view it. And from here, you can view the recording and you will see once I go to the password section, the keyboard will be hidden right here. So you saw the keyboard on the recording. It is hidden automatically. Now when you have an iPhone with Face ID, of course, you lock it right here and your iPhone is locked with Face ID. But if you want to quickly lock your iPhone with the passcode and disable Face ID, all you gotta do is just press volume up, volume down and hold the side button, click cancel and you're good to go. Your iPhone now has been locked with the passcode, not with Face ID. So no one will be able to actually unlock this phone with Face ID without first having to enter the passcode. Deleting apps on iOS 14 is quite hard. First of all, you will have to go to the edit mode, then tap the minus button right there, tap on delete app, and then tap on delete app again to actually delete this app from your device. But the easiest way of course is by, from the app library. You just swipe like this and you will be able to actually do that from the search section. Right here we'll be able to quickly search for any app you want and once you have found it just 3D touch right there on the icon of the app. Just like that you will be able to quickly delete that app. Did you know that you can actually search for files that you have saved on your files app directly from the spotlight search without having to open the app? You can search here for any file you want and you can see right here I have a few of them that have shown up here and what you can actually do is also preview these files right here on spotlight search without having to open them and you will see here it also shows you the size of the files and it also shows you the format and when the time when they have been last open now from here all you gotta do is 3d touch in this case we have a picture 
or if you have a video, you will be able to actually play it here as well. So from the spotlight search, play videos that you have saved on your files app. A pretty cool trick on the keyboard of your iOS 14 lets you type the degree symbol easily. All you gotta do is just go to the numbers keyboard at the zero, just tap and hold. And just like that, anywhere you need to enter the degrees, you will be able to do that from here. Now this one is on Safari and it is pretty simple. Probably you will think this is the easiest one if you already know about it, but if you didn't know about it, it is pretty cool and very useful as well. So you tap on the tabs right there and you will have these little X buttons that you will have to close one by one if you want to close different tabs. But you can, what you can do is actually just swipe like this. So it won't work from the left to the right, but from the right to the left, you will be able to close any tabs you want quickly. On the stocks app, did you know that you will have here like how much a stock has grown right there it shows you that basically on dollars and cents whatever that is but if you tap right there it will show you actually the market cap for that stock and if you tap once more it will show you the percentage of how much it has gone up for the day so just by tapping right there you will be able to quickly change between those three actions with iOS 14.5, Apple has added a very useful feature to Siri. Now you can use the hey and you know what word of course to call your emergency contact and that will actually be very very useful. And there is a new interface as well for that so let me just demonstrate it. I won't say the word just manually launch Siri. Call my emergency contact. And just like that, it will show you basically the new interface right here and you will be able to call from there or just say to Siri to call that contact and that of course is very, very useful. Moving on to some tricks that you will find on widgets. So right here, we're on the clock widget. And of course, if I tap to add this widget, it will just throw it right there at the top of the screen. What you can do here is tap and hold the widget. And once it pops up, just swipe it down like this. And now you will be able to actually choose where you want to place that widget. I can even move between pages and just place this anywhere I want on the screen of my iPhone. Now, what's really cool about the medium sized clock widget is that you can actually rearrange these cities and edit them from here. So you just 3D touch on the widget, tap on the edit widget button, and here we'll have the cities. You can rearrange them any way you like, or you can just tap on one city to replace that with another city. It is as easy as that, just configuring the clock widget, of course, the medium one, any way you like. Now you will have the same for the smaller size widget, which shows you four cities, you can actually do the same as well. When you go to your home screen and you go to the side here where you have your widgets, you have a few of them, of course, here, or maybe one that you want to remove from there and place it on the home screen. Now you don't have to actually place it on the home screen and then go edit here and remove it from here. All you gotta do is just tap and hold it and you can basically drag it like this and just put it anywhere you want on the home screen of your iPhone. And last but not least, by going to the settings app on your iOS 14 device and going to face ID and passcode, right here we'll find other apps which basically shows you all the apps that are using Face ID on your device. So you have different apps that actually support locking the apps or locking different items like the Notes app with Face ID, which again is an amazing feature. And I believe every app should have that feature. It's really, really cool and you will have a list of those apps right here. Now, if you wanna stop any of these apps from actually using your Face ID, you can do that simply by disabling these buttons. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found these helpful and you learned something new today. So that's pretty much it. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.